This right here is Harrison Lake, and this is the $250,000 car we took to get here. My name is Laura Reed. I make travel videos here on YouTube, so if you aren't subscribed, definitely make sure to do so, and let's get this vlog started. Harrison Hot Springs has been a popular tourist destination for travelers since 1886. This was precisely when the opening of the Canadian Pacific Railway made the Lakeside Springs accessible through the transcontinental mainline. Nowadays, you can just hop in your car with it being located only two hours from Vancouver, which makes it for an easy weekend trip where you you can come and relax in the hot springs, cool off in the lake, or just get outside and go on a hike. This place totally connects you to nature, and it was really nice to get out of the city for the night and just relax. So let's go back to the beginning as to why I came here in the first place. I got a text from my friend Jen asking if I could help her film a special project, and of course I said yes. Oh, and the perk to this special project was that we got to borrow a $250,000 car. And when I tell you this car had speed, well, let me just show you. The journey started in Vancouver, where we picked up some of our friends, along with some really delicious food, and headed on our way. All right, the start of our adventure is here, but of course we needed to pick up some essentials before we get started. Any Canadian road trip, even if it's a short one, like we're doing today, requires some Tim Hortons. So I got a breakfast wrap, and we're ready to go. Driving anywhere in British Columbia is absolutely beautiful, and you get to take in the stunning landscape. There are an endless amount of areas you can explore in BC, hence the fact we have so much tourism normally. After driving for around two hours, our final destination started to come into view. The Lodge on Harrison Lake is a serene property which is surrounded by an amazing 180 degree waterfront and mountain view. This property is split up into a few sections, with the main house being the largest. This part of the property has five bedrooms and can sleep up to 10 people. Then there's the carriage house which is where we stayed and it can sleep six. Well I'm in the main master bedroom and what's kind of cool about this room is it does have a bath randomly in the middle of the room. The bathroom is actually next door but the bath is just it's just hanging out and as you can see from behind me we have a beautiful view of the lake. And then this right here is the second bedroom. There's also guest suites here which is perfect if you're traveling as a couple and don't need as much space. And then from the top deck you have a even more beautiful view of the lake and in the main area we have kind of a big area because there's actually a Murphy bed where two more people can fit and then we have a little dining area, a couch, and a really big kitchen. So this place does actually go for $1,500 a night, which yes, is quite expensive, but if you're looking for a vacation to splurge on, this is the one. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> relaxing, enjoying this beautiful cabin. We actually picked up a taco and a margarita kit. So we're gonna put that together right now and continue enjoying this beautiful place. All right, happy tacos. We actually have one, take a shot of eight, what, 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 <laughs> 1800 and get the fiesta started. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Arriba, arriba, arriba. arriba. Good morning, you guys. As you can hear below me, we have the water washing up on the shore, which is honestly the nicest way to wake up. It was really beautiful just hanging out, watching the sunset last night, and we're up early this morning. We're gonna go into town and grab some breakfast. One of the things I love doing when I'm in a city I'm not used to is discovering unique coffee shops, especially in small towns like this. The Black Porch was a place we got recommended to us and it definitely did not disappoint. I got the breakfast sandwich and it was amazing. Unfortunately, we were only staying at the spot for one night and I wasn't quite ready to say goodbye yet. So before 
before heading out, we decide to head down to the water and enjoy the last hour of this peaceful place in the best way possible. All right, the girls have decided to do a cold plunge, Jen. Oh my God. <laughs> it is a little chilly, so it's gonna be a bit cold, but I feel like they're gonna feel refreshed after and I'm gonna film it. Now, I wish I could say I was brave enough to do the cold plunge with them, but that didn't stop me from cheering them on on the sidelines. It's definitely not summer yet here in BC, which made this cold plunge even harder for them. I don't think you can ever be ready for a cold plunge. I feel like <laughs> it's just, it is what it is. You're just gonna be a new woman when you come out of the I wall. know. It's the shark is rocks. You guys gonna run? <laughs> just dive right in. <laughs> oh my god, ow, ow, ow. Wow, wow. How do you feel? Oh my, I feel like you're gonna refresh now. Wait for like the blood to rush back in. That was cool, that was what we do when I was Yay, doing thanks that. for doing it with me. Cold therapy has actually been known to have many healing aspects to it. Experts say when practiced on a regular basis, cold water immersion can provide a long-lasting changes to your body's immune, lymphatic, circulatory, and digestive systems that enhance the overall quality of your life. So even though it might be uncomfortable in the moment, it really does have lasting effects when practiced on a regular basis. Now, if I could go back and make the decision to do the cold plunge with them, would I? Well, maybe not this time, but I do applaud them for doing it. A mermaid has landed on shore. <laughs> behind the scenes of Instagram photo shoots. Even though we were just at the lodge for a night, it really felt like a fulfilling getaway. From watching the sunset while enjoying a bottle of wine to downing delicious tacos and listening to the sound of the ocean. Sometimes you just need one night to make yourself feel renewed. We're saying goodbye to Harrison. It was such a fun. Goodbye Harrison. We didn't see Harrison, unfortunately. We are hoping we would, but it was still a good time. Before ending our trip, we had one more stop to make. On our way into Harrison, we came across this really beautiful pathway that turns out is actually owned by UBC, where they have a research center there for one of their departments. Upon driving further along this path, we discovered a really beautiful garden-filled area with lush greenery and bright colored flowers. All right, so before leaving Harrison, we decided to take a quick detour and check out the UBC agriculture farm. And it's a huge property that has a whole bunch of green space. And I actually went to UBC, fun fact, but they do have different kind of little campus areas all over which I believe that's what this is that people will come here and they'll study and there's just a lot of really beautiful greenery so Louisa's actually got all dressed up in a really beautiful dress it looks stunning so we're gonna take some fun photos in the field and uh, yeah you can head over to her Instagram to check out the final product I'm also gonna leave all the girls Instagrams down below <laughs> and we also have this this is honestly is a secret hack I would say when taking photos it makes your face look so much better and you can get them off Amazon Then my friend accidentally stepped in a pile of poo. Not ideal. With traveling more in British Columbia this past year, I have a newfound appreciation of my home. There really is so much beauty here and I'm happy that I get to share it with you guys. So with that, I will see you in my next video. Bye.